Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel and today it's the 1941 United States dime, the Mercury dime and you see Lady Liberty here facing to the left. Over here you see the D for the Denver Mint way over on the right. This one on the back has no mint mark so it'll be blank back there, that's for Philadelphia. And then over here we see an S for the San Francisco Mint. In 1941, the San Francisco Mint was not a specialty mint or a proof mint, it's just regular circulating coins. They made 43 million at the San Francisco Mint, 47 million at the Denver Mint, and they made 175 million at the Philadelphia Mint. At the San Francisco Mint, they found two Mint State 68 pluses, and those are worth about $30,000. They've also found four different repunched mint mark varieties and what you do is you look at the S on here and see if it looks doubled up. And this one it's too worn out to tell I think probably but if you get a repunched mint mark variety the highest price paid on one of those is $1700. And then they have something called the large S variety and that's when this leaf on the bottom actually hits or touches the S. If you get a really good mint state 65 plus with full bands for the large s variety it's worth about 900 dollars this is the 1941 philadelphia at the philadelphia mint they made 175 million they found three so far to mint state 68 plus full bands and those are worth 17,500. they've also found two double die obverse varieties where you have some doubling on here and the best one of those is worth about $2,700. And the third mint that they made them at after San Francisco and Philadelphia was a Denver mint, and that'll be the D down here. The Denver mint, they made $47 million. They did have one that sold in 2023 for $9,000. 